I'm a misfit, but we both know it's the dog when the bass hit. The doggy dog on the track. Our, 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 our. This is dedicated to the graduating class of NEIT digital media. That was rapper D Dizzy Dog with his song Making Them Girls Snarl. We've got all the classics to keep your spirits up on the drive to work. Quick break from the tunes for a little news update. Police have announced a cash reward for anyone with information regarding the robbery homicide that occurred in December. If you know anything, you can call the North Kingston Police Department at 401. Are you guys hiring by chance right now? What? Are you guys hiring at all? Um, I don't think it's right this second. Not right now? Uh yeah, it's alright. Call them, they'll give you an update. Alright, thank you. This is a sandwich. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Sorry to bug you, man. Um, I just I just needed a quick eighth. Is that all right? You woke me up for an eighth? Damn, bro. All right. Um, I got good stuff this time, so I have to charge you 40. Plus, I fronted you last time, so I still need that money. Is that cool? Oh, damn. Never mind. Never mind on that eighth, then. I can get the money soon. Are you busy today, though? Maybe we could chill out like Fort Wetherall or something. Like, like hang out? I don't know, man. I, I got my own shit, you know? You have a girl? Yeah. About that. I've been going through a lot of stuff lately. And I and I, but recently I've had a lot of free time. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, sure, bro. Uh maybe some other day. Alright. Alright. I'll catch up. I'll catch you later. And I'll pay you back soon. Uh, alright, listen, bro. If you want to pick up again, you gotta pay your tab, right? Peace. All right, peace, man.
they just parked. He's walking up right now. Man, sorry to bother you. Um, I'm looking for my friend. She, uh, she got blonde hair. Um, she's wearing like ripped jeans. You know, I'm kind of worried. Uh, she got out of my car and she left her phone in there. Do you, uh, might have seen her? I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. I don't think so. I, you sure? I'm, I'm almost certain. I, I'm, yeah. Sorry, man. I, I don't think so. All right then. Have a good day. You too, sir. Fuck. They're gone. Thank you. You know, it just actually saved my life. Oh, my arms and something wet. Yeah, sorry about that. It's kind of a shitbox back there. Yeah, no kidding. So, I appreciate it, though. Yeah, no problem. Uh, who were those guys, anyways? They're some assholes that need to meet me. Well, is there anything else I could possibly do to help? Like, can I bring you home? Or call the cops, maybe? This is <sighs> no. I do not trust the cops with the situation right now. And those guys know where I live and where I work, so... I guess I'm just kind of finding a place to lay low until I can figure something out. Well, I know a place, um, that, and it kind of feels like home. It's not your house, is it? No, not exactly. It's a park, but... I mean, this is kind of my living situation at the moment. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to shit-talk your mood. It's not about the smells and the feels that make a house a home, you know? Home is where the heart is. My heart just so happens to be filled with garbage. Welcome to my little slice of paradise. Wow, very charming. And beachfront too, how'd you manage that? Well, it's off market and uh, I had some of my guys pull some strings. <laughs> but this is a pretty nice trail. It just goes right around and then, uh, it's pretty long, but right around will loop us back out to the car. So, uh, you smoke it all? Nah, I quit. Respect. So why don't you trust the police anyways? Well, I might be a suspect in something. Really? What? I used to have this ex, and he was a real piece of shit. We used to fight all the time. And then something happened to him, and some people think I might have had something to do with it. Why would they think that? What happened? It was this whole shit show of events. I'm really sorry that I got you involved in all of this. Oh, I get it. We all got our hands in different cookie jars. Yeah, sure. You know, I used to have an ex too. About a year ago, I thought she was my everything. I even, I even risked my life for her. What happened? Well, I just changed. My mental health, uh, my drug use just went up, and she just couldn't stay with me. And, you know, I understand why. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. What changed? Um, you know, a steady decline of my mental health, uh, just the increased use of all my vices in my life, the, from the cigarettes to the alcohol. And, 
It was just... You wanted to escape. Yeah, I just wanted to escape. I did anything I could to... to just be okay. Yeah, I get it. My ex was such a piece of shit. I really, really did want to leave him. I just... It's just not that simple, you know? Why was he such a pe piece of shit? If you don't mind me asking. He was a criminal. Now, when you say criminal, that can infer a couple different things. Do you mean like a misdemeanor criminal or like a felony criminal? Like the kind of criminal, like the guys that are coming after me today. Oh, kind of what was was he the one that came came up to the window? And was no, looking? no, he's um he he was part of this gang. He used to do little jobs, mostly robbery. Um, but he always roped me into doing some stuff with him sometimes and brought me to this shitty little trap house on Fruit Hill. And it was, they'd do the stupidest shit, but. Hold up, let me make sure I got this right. He was part of the gang? Yeah, he, um, he got killed. Oh my God, I, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. And now they think it's me who killed him because of all the shit I said to him. And now they want revenge or something. And I just, I don't know what to do. I'm just trying to figure out something. And I'm definitely oversharing. <sighs> no, it's fine. I, I totally get why you're stressed now. Makes, makes a lot of sense. You know, in a way, like, yeah, I am kind of glad that he's gone. But I didn't fucking kill him, you know? Yeah, no, I know, I know, I, I get that. She fucking killed him and you let her get away? Listen, you need to calm down, okay? I didn't let her get away. Pop let her get away with his badass driving, okay? Where the fuck is Pop anyway? Well, listen, Pop has something he had to take care of. He couldn't find a sitter, all right? So I just want to know, all this time, what did you come up with here, Morpheus? I am so close to finishing hacking the CIA fingerprint database. Close. You have no idea. Uh, so what does that mean? What do you have for me right now? Technically nothing. So this is the best that CCRI has to offer me? What do you even have to offer? What are you bringing? I got something real. Hold that. I got this. Well, that bitch might have got away, but we still got this. And this is gonna tell us exactly where she ran off to. What exactly you got on that thing anyway? Well, why are you asking me? That's for you to figure out. What am I paying you for? Take this. Give me that money back. Because you haven't earned anything. But you know results of us. Fucking comps. I don't know what fucking Python. Fucking professor. Fucking Albert. Jesus. What are you saying over there? Will you shut the fuck I'm up? Just and logging log in? out. I'm... Give me a second. You got security cam footage? Yeah, you know, I talked to the neighbors. They were uh, they're happy to help out. Just gave them a little convincing. Why don't you, uh, why don't you check out 7.30 a.m. on that? Okay, yep, that's that girl that I was looking for. That's her? And him. I knew he was hiding something. I knew it. How long have you lived like this? Like this? Um, it's been kind of like a steady decline ever since, well... Since? Since me and my girlfriend broke up. Um, it's been kind of tough, you know. Sorry. Is there anything you could do to change that? Or? I mean, I used to drive a really nice car. I think, you know, that would really make me all happy, you know? Yeah, I, I get that. There's this green Mini Cooper, British Racing Green, tan interior. It's a convertible, my absolute favorite. You know, my, my ex, he actually used to drive a bright red Challenger. And he it's like the only good part of him, I guess. So that was why I stayed with him for as long as I did. But, yeah. Hey, are you going to be okay to drive? Yeah. Sorry. It, it's just been a stressful day. 
Yeah, no, I'm I'm sorry that I'm stressing too. Hey, do you want to go get something to eat? I know of a convenience store um, in the area. I can show you where to go. Yeah, sure, no problem. Let's uh, let's do it. Mm. Like for Mini Mart? Can you go, please? I've been in here a few times. You coming in? No, I'll wait. Hey, could you get me two black and milds and everything in the register? Wait, what'd you say? I said, can you get me two sandwiches in an Arizona? Uh, yeah, yeah, no problem. I must have, must have misheard you. Uh, I'll be right back. this real simple for you. Where is the fucking girl? Uh, listen, guys, I, I seriously haven't seen this uh, girl at all. Like, I, I, I don't know who you're talking Man, about. Man, cut the act. Listen, you need to cut the shit, alright? I got this right here for you. You tell me where the girl is, this money, it's all yours. Bro, what kind of scumbag do you, even if I didn't know where she was, what kind of scumbag do you think? I take you for a reasonable scumbag. Listen, you take this money, and I won't bash your teeth there. Sound good? Tell me where she's at. She's in my car. See? Was that so difficult? Now why don't you go inside, get yourself another sandwich. How much he meant to us. I didn't. Shut up, bitch. You don't understand. All we oh, did we was understand. fight. That was it. We understand that how much you fucking hated him. You were with him the night of the robbery. No. You killed him with his own fucking Woo. gun. Now you're gonna suffer the consequences. Woo. We'll see what the boss has to say no. about that. Wait, wait. Yo, man, I got some good news. Yeah, what's up? Uh, I finally got, came into some money. I can uh, finally pay you back. Oh, sweet. 
Yeah, when are you, uh, when are you free? When can I bring that by? Uh, basically whenever. Whenever? I mean, I should be over there about... Hello? Hello? Actually, man, I gotta fix something. I'll call you back. Alright, alright. quarter you know all right I'll see you at dinner all right love you bye hey there anything I can help you with sir <coughs> um, uh, uh, are, are you okay yeah, yeah. I just you guys help Get you some water, maybe? Yeah. Is there anything specific that you're looking for, sir? I just need a car fast. Hmm. Fast car, you say? Well, I think I got exactly what you're looking for. Right this way. That way? Yeah. All right. Can I just get a water? Yeah, of course, sir. We get you water. I think you're really going to like this one. You know, it's been a pretty hot piece around the garage. Here she is. You know? If it wasn't for sale, I'd look into buying it myself. So what do you think? Well, I assure you, it's not that ugly. No, I just, I know this car. <laughs> this one came in from the state auction not too long ago. Problem is, I'm just not getting any buyers. Kinda having trouble selling it. But it is a really nice car. I mean, the nice gloss red, you know, padded seats in the interior. Decent amount of miles, too. And let me tell you, good gas mileage. Definitely gonna want that. I'll take it. Well, hold on now. I do have to tell you that this car was involved in a criminal robbery homicide. I know. Smiles puts it, so a thought, and you reap an act. So an act. Oh no! What? Watch out! 
Fuck. Fuck. I'm, I'm not killing again. was that about? They found me, kidnapped me, and then you show up in my dead boyfriend's car? What was that line about never killing again? By the way. Uh, listen, I can I can explain. I, I, I haven't been completely honest. I completely guess... honest? You haven't said anything true. Listen, I, it's not that I've lied to you. I've just left out some details, and I didn't figure it out entirely. Figure the... it out? You You know, like your boyfriend, the car, my store, when he came- Your store? I can explain. Just hold on a second. Just hold on a second. Come on. I can explain. 100% honesty this time. No lies. Talk. I don't know. This is just a little bit too busy. I, I think we should go a little bit somewhere more private and I can tell you everything. Be 100% honest. Fine. Is this private enough for you? It'll have to do. Talk. All right. When I first met your boyfriend, ex, sorry, ex-boyfriend, he came into my store and he robbed me for everything in the register and I happened to have something that was very valuable to me at the time. And I tried to fight back. And it, it, it just, he, he tried to kill me and I, I, I didn't want to hurt him or anything. I, it's just. It's, you were defending yourself, weren't you? I was, and I, I, I truly am sorry that I put you in this situation. Me too, but there's no going back. I know that, I know that, but when I, I just, I'm really sorry that I put you in this situation, I, I just needed the money, and... They gave you money? Fucking unbelievable. I'm sorry, listen, I you've seen how I've been living for the past... Yeah, but you could have still talked to me about everything. At least told me who you were. You're right. Um, and again, it's it's not like I've lied to you. It's just I've left a couple things out. Mostly because I couldn't put the two things together. And, you know, it's not like I stole the car. I, I saw it at a dealership. It was seized. And I seized from the robbery. I, I, I just... I didn't want any of this to happen to us. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, me neither. Sorry I made you do it. I didn't want any of this to happen. I didn't mean to. I didn't... I know. Let's just get back to the car. I'm fucking starving. Hey, you're not gonna, like, hit me or anything, right? Maybe. I'm still mad. We've got work to do. Dog on the track. 
all the beautiful ladies in here I want you to stand up I want you to stand up and I want you to feel the bass of D to Z is it too convenient that our paths got crossed? But I'll be lenient for you at any cost. I cut the chain with my past lifestyle. Now I'm just hoping my life's worthwhile. I see you, baby. You're all messed up. Don't fall too deep. You need to pick me up. Step into my corner. Step into my world for your mental health. So your brain ain't sore. Yeah, I'm D dog. D dizzy dog. Snow, snow, what? Yeah, I'm a road hog. D dog. D dizzy dog. Making girls snow and making them claw. Making girls claw like a flopper, jaw like a flopper. Felt like I got mauled by a flopper. Girl, I'ma stop ya before the bass dropper. D Dizzy Dog is a certified popper. Mike Davis better give me a good grade, cause this movie is sweeter than lemonade. Plus it's homemade, and I'm not named. D Dog's at the pound, so we can't be tamed. D Dog, D Dizzy Dog, snarl, snarl, what? Yeah, I'm a road hog. D Dog, D Dizzy Dog, making girls smile and making them claw. I'm fast. Aggressive, call me a challenger. I ride around this world as the ultimate traveler. Can't stop me now. I got the number one recipe. Probably picked up one or two girls accidentally. You say I'm not cool. You say I'm a misfit. But we both know it's the dog when the bass hit. D doggy dog on the track. Ar 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 ar. This is dedicated to the graduating class of NEIT's digital media production major. Congratulations, we made it, baby.